Hi, I'm Danny from Generation X, and this is... Jalen from Generation Z. And this is... I, I dare, dare you to play... Doki Doki Literature Club! You're gonna need a little something extra for this one, guys. Just say it. Anyway... A quick reminder <laughs> of the rules... It must be a game they've never played before or seen anyone play before. Which means all of our comments and impressions are 100% fresh. First ever playthroughs. And if me, Huff, and Am Elmer's Glue didn't already warn you, there will be offensiveness. And language. So parental discretion is advised. Don't leave us hanging. Go watch the episode! Hello. Welcome back to episode 8. Of Doki Doki Literature Club. Whatever the fuck this game is called. Again, we're doing bullets to the head. If I say bullet to the head, it means fucking drink. At the beginning of this episode... By the way, bullet to the head. We're doing something special. We're looking at the files. Yeah, you know, per Jay's request, we gotta do this, so... Are you ready? Yep. Let's um, look at him. Alright, so here's... The files. What are we looking for, Jay? Well... Can you hear me? Characters, DLC, app, game. This actually says, can you hear me? There's a little devil inside all Hold on, nobody, they can't fucking see this. I know, they can't see it. Hold on. I'm gonna actually try to add this on the fly, so everybody, be cool. Just fucking be cool. Be cool. Here we go, you ready? Ready? Boom! There it is. This is the can you hear me poem? Yep. Okay. There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a wreathing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, el elitism. I know how to read. Self-doubt. How much have you All crashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them down their guilt and comfort. Hold on, food. hold on. Seeping Drowning through every up. little crevice they can find. Oh, into yeah. their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire, into their stomach, forcing Apparently them I'm the drunk one. to drown the, and I'm like this to episode their, is being recorded right after the last one. To drown so I'm on my second fucking food. bullet. Or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. The sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable, tangled mass is already present in every single one of them. That's why I choose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. So that that was what we were looking for is the new poem? There's more. Okay. Let's see. Copyright? Is that what we're looking for? No. <laughs> Happy thoughts. What? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Again, I've got to try to, like, make this happen on the fly, so bear with me. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, there it is. And there we go. Happy thoughts, folks. Happy thoughts. Hanging. <laughs> Hang in there, so, guys. So is Sori like a ghost now, like in the in my machine? Is that what's happening? What else we got? Um, there's trace back. Oh, trace back. See trace back text for details. Where did you see that? Okay, let's see. Hold on. Boom. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, but an uncaught exception occurred while running the game code, blah, 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 blah. Restart top context. Oh, jeez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec. I can probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. <laughs> well, I... Oh, well, here goes nothing. Full trace back, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Oh, jeez. break anything. Yeah. It's Did the I? same thing. And here's nothing. Yep. There you go. Okay. That's... What else we got? Oh, there's the character. What? The characters file. It's a folder. Characters. Look. She's gone. Okay, anything else we're looking for here? I don't think so, for now. <laughs> okay. Apparently, that was important. Because I said so. Okay, because Jay said so. Ah. There we 
go. <laughs> got rid of the and files. And we're back to this game. Scrambled Tori. Scrambled Tori. So sorry. Hey, bullet to the head, everyone. We just oh, looked man. at fucking files on our computer because apparently that's entertaining. Sure, why not? What else could be more entertaining? Killing Yuri. Hi, welcome to episode eight of Killing Yuri. <laughs> I guess this is only episode two of Curing, Killing Yuri. The first seven, ep six episodes were Killing Yuri. Uh, sorry. First seven episodes. I don't know. What seven are, Where did she die? Last episode? Episode seven. Was that only last week? Yeah. Fuck, that seems like that was ten years ago already. Alright. Okay. Yay. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. <laughs> to kill her? Yeah. I'm, apparently the goal of this game is to fucking kill them all. So, funny story. Story time. <laughs> so, so, when I was going to college at ITC Tech, uh, you know, we're sitting in class and the guy's lecturing and, uh, you know, it's computer stuff, so it's not always really super exciting, even for nerds like me. And I would just randomly, in the middle of class, go... Kill them. Kill them all. And I did this every week. Every week, just randomly, in the class, there would be like a slight moment of like silence, and I would just go... Kill them. Kill them all. I swear to God, after about six weeks of that, like, you know, and we're talking twice a week I have this class, right? Mm -hmm. After about fucking six weeks of that, the guy in front of me catches me doing it. Like, I'm leaning forward. And he's like, oh my god, thank god that's you. I thought I was losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard the story actually. So, so I almost caused a school massacre. <laughs> I've heard the story. Kill them. Kill them all. Actually, let me change that for the channel. Watch them. Watch them all. That's the same thing. <laughs> Kill yourself. Hang from the ceiling, man. <laughs> anyway, I just totally fucking called that for like three episodes in a row, by mm -hmm. the way. Anyway, so that's a fun story. Uh, again, we're back to Don't Call Me. Uh, so we left off it, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry? I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. <laughs> Your eye popped out. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh... Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. <laughs> okay. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. <laughs> I definitely start reading it soon. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. I never have a problem laying it down, baby. Is that so? <laughs> What's the story about, anyway? Well... Mm. I look at the cover of the book, because apparently she didn't even read the back cover. The book is titled, Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol in the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. 
Pull it to the head, everybody. Everybody drink to that. <laughs> that sounds like a good fucking time. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Everybody drink again. That, again. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> but the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and fixing them to... Uh, that might be a little bit of a Everybody drink again! <laughs> this book sounds way better than this game! <laughs> but anyway, I I'm really into it. Yeah, because you're a cutter. <laughs> the book, I mean. And cutting. Not the thing about the limbs. Yeah, me thinks she does protest too much. <laughs> Everybody drink, by the way. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Ha! <laughs> Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. Really? Uh... Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Danny Rand? Oh, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. Like, let's play a fucking game, you want to? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into that sort of thing. She is so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... I'm gonna quote real men now. You're not one of those girls who are the same at the office as they're at home. <laughs> it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. <laughs> okay. Huh. I mean... The added... Bubble words is a little unusual, I guess. Not wrong, though. Then suddenly... I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? It sounds like maybe you're possessed by a dead girl. <laughs> Who's not dead yet, not technically, in this timeline. Sorry. Just think not again? <laughs> hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. I'm still into cutters. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets inverted. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. My whole body, what? Now I've got to rewind it and see what the fuck that you said. You have is. history. Huh? History. It shows the last text that was... Really? Yeah. Click it. Oh, Sad face. What? It doesn't show it. Nope. She doesn't. Return. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sorry if I end up seeing it's something strange. Yeah, because Yuri didn't say it, right? I bumped the mic again. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to stop shaking. There we go. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh... That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it right now. Yes! <laughs> she said glitchily. Uh, I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. I slide my hand up her knee. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Should I go on further up your thigh? That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want to. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> it's just something I'm not very used to. Oh, you get used to it, baby. That is reading in company with someone. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Mm. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. <laughs> uh, Alright. 
I open the book and I start the prologue, which hovers just above her knee. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry. I was just... Oh. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't, couldn't read it. Yuri, you really don't apologize <laughs> a lot, don't you? Uh, I do? Let's try history now. Nope. Nope. Um, Y'all will have to pause it and read that shit, because we're missing it. I don't really mean to. Sorry. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's right up against Yuri's. Then I hold my book more between the two of them. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy and moves closer. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Jesus Christ. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefingers. Ah. I do the same with my right arm, on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. You say it like it's a bad thing. I know, right? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy? As if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh... To turn the page. Oh, I'm ready, baby. <laughs> uh, sorry? sorry? I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. I'm sure she'd be distracted too if you just nibble on her ear a little bit. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Hey! Bullet to the head! Everybody drink! By the way, I already can't like feel my face because again, we're recording episodes in a row. Yeah. <laughs> wow! I like bullet. Thanks, Bullet. Thanks, Bullet. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm reading to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Uh, uh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things, she says, and all that. Uh, uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about it. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. I'd like everybody to look at Yuri's face for a second. She looks a little bit crazy. Oh! Like the crazy eyes have full on come out right now. She's in sadistic euphoria right now. <laughs> Yuri! Are you feeling all right? Huh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. 
You can rest your feeling. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little. My breathing. Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. Uh, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right. Don't push yourself. We're, we're reading. Don't push yourself. Whatever. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? I'm the stupidest person that ever lived. Danny Rand? Did something happen just now? Uh, yeah, I kind of made a stain in my jeans a little bit because I got overexcited. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do, because I'm stupid as shit. Are you worried about her? Uh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. <laughs> you saying I'm a whore, bitch? I mean, I kind of am, though. No, no, nothing. <laughs> don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Uh... Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we could start without her. Is she rubbing one out? Maybe she's rubbing one out. <laughs> Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, I was just asking. Because if she's rubbing one out, I might want to go check on her and see if she needs any help. I stand up. Why would you do that? I'm sure that's probably not going to work out. Make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Or hold it in front of me to cover my erection. <laughs> Who should I show my poem to first? We always save Monica for last. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. Oh fuck, we're not even halfway through this episode. I know. Oh my god, this fucking game takes forever! I just realized that too. Well, that's about what I expected from someone like you. You know, there's a reason why my cursor's right in the middle of your fucking face. <laughs> that's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. And if I refuse? It's not like I said it was bad. Didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, like, oh, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Yes. No, that's not the right answer, dude. That's uh, <laughs> that's the wrong way of pronouncing right on the S. Yeah, that's not that's not right. I'll pass. <laughs> See, now she's disappointed. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Yeah. Show me mine, I'll show you mine. I'll show you mine, you show me yours, right? Like... Not that you like it. Oh, look, it's the same freaking thing from a few episodes ago. I know, it's almost like Sayori had no impact whatsoever. Uh... Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I liked it. What? Just be honest. I am. I'm really easily impressed. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Writing us feel sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. <laughs> she said, "Hits you hard." I everybody think you drank, by the way. Last time too. Yeah, everybody drank just to make sure that was funny. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Kill them. Kill them all. Stop. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? 
Yep, guess not. Did ya? I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Stop! Kill them all. Why? Because why not? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Danny Rand. Having a good time so far? I mean, nobody's naked, so... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> good, glad to hear it. The dog's barking in the background. By the way, since you're new at everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Danny Rand. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of burial that we're all learning to get past soon. Did you say burial? That's hilarious. I think I did. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Hey, funny story. I saw a campaign sign today that said Graves for Coroner. Yeah. That was yesterday. That's yeah. hilarious. Oh, my God. That Graves was for, for Coroner. Oh, this guy's dead. Better call Graves. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, that guy's going to win. I would vote for him just because of his name. Oh, my God. That's awesome. I, I, How do you not vote for that guy? I know. Anyway. I hand Monica my poem. It's about Graves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great job, Danny Rand. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Oh, there you go. It's really metaphorical. Okay. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Unfortunately, us and the listeners will never, ever, ever fucking read it. I guess I underestimated you. Clearly. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. <laughs> no, no, you don't say. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. Yeah. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not that she has, like, zero self-worth or the fact that she's vice president of the club so she has to die next or anything. I don't think she's used to being adults like that. <laughs> <laughs> she must really be starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Uh-huh. Like earlier. Uh-huh. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Did she get a little too stimulated? Is that uh, what happened? Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri? Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? I I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't... I mean, I always feel that way, you know? I see. I'm zoning out. Well, let's read it then. Pull and wall. Blah, blah, he was looking at me, confused, fairly rest around my surroundings. Oh, but my burnt eyes can no longer see color. Are this one's different, this right? Are, yep. Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sand of frantic... The sound? My god. Of frantic... Scrawling, playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. 
There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing in fears, I brandish my pen. Kill them. Kill them all. You stop! <laughs> also, I promise, Jay's not been drinking. It just I'm really just seems tired. that way. Yeah. Um, it, right now, it's like almost 11, and we have... It's been a busy day. It's been us. a long weekend, actually. Yeah, it's been a long week, so I'm a bit tired. Hey, but you know what? Wait. Bullet to the head, everybody. Everybody drink. I'll drink some uh, water that's out Age of a bullet. H2O. It's out of a bullet H2O. Bottle. Does that count? Out of a bullet bottle? Gatorade. Water sucks. Anyway. Yeah, Gatorade. Have you ever, made, ever seen Waterboy? You've never seen Waterboy? I don't think I have. Adam anyway, Sandler? We'll watch it eventually, I'm sure. You know what? I'm sorry, people. Apparently, I just never watched movies with Jay, and I, I feel like that's like all we did for the first 16 years. So I don't know why none of these movies have ever come up. I don't know either. What the hell have we been watching for 16 years? I don't know, man. We, we at least covered, like, Alfred Hitchcock, yeah, like, right? Real Men and stuff. Yeah, we covered Real like Men, that. which is, by the way, if you've never seen the movie Real Men... Oh, you Men, should go watch it. So you good. should, like, buy that it's and hilarious. watch it. It's hilarious. If you don't think that's the funniest movie ever, then why are you even watching this channel? <laughs> so what do you think, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. You mean like in rap? Uh, what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Just force yourself to get something down. <laughs> Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to all put that in a perverted context and read it again. If, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just, just get a big dark, dark puddle, puddle of ink. ink. That's good stuff. I don't care who you are. <laughs> so just move your hand and go with the flow. <laughs> I knew that sentence was coming. I was trying so hard. Oh, to you knew it was coming? I knew it was coming. Everybody bullet to the head. Oh, my God. That's my advice for today. Oh, my God. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who should I show my poem to next? The, the next dead girl. Get it? Next. <laughs> As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Ow. Why are you gonna smack Ow. the table for her? What the hell? Ow. Uh, what was that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yep. Huh? Did, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Uh, that's... Uh, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Uh, <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Well, I spent the whole first seven episodes writing poems, so... Of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Apparently, I've written more poetry in this universe. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant. Uh, um. 
Guri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. This is the same thing she said the in the other game. Both the oh, there's a skip button. Hmm? There's a skip! What? Skip is highlighting. You can skip all this. Yeah? I, don't, I feel like... Will it only skip? Whoa! See, that skips a lot! Eh? It skips all the stuff we've already read. Well, that's nifty. Yeah. It, it's nothing, really. Yours is impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all of this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Danny Rand. Yeah. Uh, me too. Woo! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Wait, listen to the music. It's a literature club, after all. What? It sounds weird. No, it doesn't. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? language? Uh, um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of getting up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Danny Rand did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. And Danny Rand liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, huh? That's not what I... Uh... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Danny Rand appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh, then how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? You that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh... Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Danny Rand started showing up. Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... 
This doesn't involve you! Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as long as you look, Mitsuki. I feel like this is a really good time to point out that earlier, Jay and I was discussing these characters. And, uh... Each one of them seems to represent one of my ex-wives and or my ex-girlfriend. And also, I really enjoy the fact that the game is freaking out right now, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Um... <laughs> I don't really want to tell you all, because I know some of my kids watch this show, like, uh, which one is which? But each one of these characters does represent, like, one of my ex-wives. And one of them represents, like, an ex-girlfriend I lived with for, like, seven years, so... So far, we're still on the mark, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> this game is really freaking out, man. Yeah, I really want you to do something. Hey, everybody, uh, drink. No, hold on. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy, bitch. <laughs> yep. Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? <laughs> Damn, that one was spot on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Sorry, I had a wedding this weekend with Natsuki. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the only cute thing about you. Is I didn't how marry her. I didn't marry her. I'm just. She was there. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oops, sorry, sorry. Oh, my fault. History. Yeah. Sorry, I accidentally double tapped. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Ah, she's a cutter. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Ah, ah, fucking call her shit out. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? Yeah, I think I did that in, like, episode two. What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Daddy Ray hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Yeah, probably. Uh, uh. Suddenly, Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Diddy Rand! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! Wow. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be answering. Legit. Uh, Pick. There's no way to go back. I know! Uh, there's not even a history option right nope. now. That went by really- I'm just gonna side with Yuri, cause... Just so you know, this is not part of the editing process. I guess I'll pick Natsuki then. Okay. Pick your nose. <laughs> What's happening? Monica stepped in? Um, hey, Danny Rand, why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even comfort my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. So the only, yeah, the only one that I haven't been able to place yet is Monica. I have a theory, depending on how crazy she gets later, of which ex she might be. But uh, the other three definitely qualify as one of my exes. I already know who everyone is, so. Yeah, we've, we've already discussed it. I, I just hesitate to do it online. Uh. But they might be dying in order. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, anyway, we'll you see. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. <laughs> Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. 
She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it! I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Danny Rand, please don't hate me. Please! I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay for a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm the vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. <laughs> uh-huh. It, it's not that. It kind of is that, but okay. It's not that... I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Danny Rand. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Uh, I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appre- <laughs> Okay. And that's this episode, folks. That's the end of this episode. Thank God. Tune in next week when we're reading another fucking poem. Woo! Yeah, that'll be fun, won't it? Shit. Hey! Bullet to the head! Everybody drink one more. <laughs> and that was the end of that glass. So! Uh, we have a Facebook, a Patreon. Soon we'll have a Twitter. We might have it by the time this video is up. Maybe. I I'm still looking into that. I've been really Check our Facebook page. We'll I've post a link to the Twitter. Huh? I've, been, I've, been, uh, I've been really busy lately and I haven't had a chance to do so. There's something else we usually link to, isn't there? Patreon. Patreon. Facebook. Anyway. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, I know the channel. This game is uh, suckage pretty much so far. <laughs> and the glitching is kind of fun, I guess. Yeah. Sort of. I mean, it gives you a reason to actually pause the fucking episode and do a couple extra shots to make it through. Yeah. Um, I'll probably go back and read some of that shit as soon as we're done here. Because <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it said. Anyway. And uh, we'll see you next what week. What makes you think you can read it? Yeah. Uh, you well, can read Yuri's. Well, no, there were words, but it just went by so fast, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's uh, Sori's ghost or some shit, right? Like, I don't know. But, um, whatever. It's interesting-ish now, I guess? Maybe? <laughs> Far, I don't know. It's still kind of dull. Honestly, the bullet is the only thing making it okay. Alright. So, we'll see you next week. Tune in yeah. next time when Danny drinks more fucking bullet. Yay. Let's see how long his liver can stand this game. Woo! Yeah. Bye, guys! Hot out for now.